What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back. On today's episode, we'll be looking at sports, performance, compression, wear. If you guys are sportswear designers and you've wondered about this segment of apparel and you wanted to incorporate it, watch this video for everything you wanted to know about compression gear. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. So in order to begin, we must first understand what compression apparel is. And it's quite simple. Compression apparel is a descriptor for a family of garments that feature compression fits. So compression fits are achieved in two different ways. One is the way that we grade our garments, so how we fit them, and the types of fabrics that we use in these specific garments. And both of these two features come together in order to help promote blood and lymphatic flow through our bodies. It's important to promote both blood and lymphatic flow through our bodies in order to help speed up recovery time and at the same time to help us last longer during our workouts. So how does that happen essentially? Well, when we promote blood flow, we know that our blood brings nutrients and oxygen to our muscles. And when we increase the blood pressure and the blood flow in our bodies during a workout, we're getting more oxygen supplied to our muscles, which can help prevent the delayed onset muscular fatigue or DOMS. We know that when we have carbon dioxide building up due to respiratory activities, what happens is we also get lactic acid building up in our muscles, which can cause muscular soreness. So the promotion of blood flow into the muscles actually helps to delay this muscular soreness and fatigue and helps us perform better for longer. At the same time, because we're getting more blood, we're getting more nutrients into our muscles, which can help in the post-workout building process. So we know that when we're working out, we're tearing our muscles down. And post-workout is where we rebuild. That's where we have our proteins, we get our amino acids, we get basically the building blocks that our muscles need in order to rebuild. Well, if you're getting more blood, into your system because of the compression gear, what's gonna happen is you're gonna actually provide more of those nutrients at a faster rate to your muscles, which is going to undoubtedly help in the recovery process. We also have to note that compression gear is not just a matter of using tightly fitted fabrics and garments. We also tend to use both breathable and sweat wicking fabrics in compression gear. And what that's going to help do is during our workouts when we're sweating, the sweat wicking properties is going to help bring sweat from the surface of our skin up towards the surface of the fabric and help it evaporate. When that sweat evaporates, it takes heat or dissipates heat away from the surface of the fabric, which can actually help cool down a wearer. At the same time, the same properties that help a fabric be sweat wicking can also help a fabric thermally insulate the wearer. So compression gear is not only useful for keeping a wearer cool in warm environments, but also keeping the wearer warm in cool environments. So it has that vice versa impact. At the same time, the tightly fitted fabrics are going to help improve flexibility and just overall comfort of the wearer. So this takes us on to what are the benefits of compression gear? So if you as a designer are looking to incorporate compression gear into your next collection, you're probably thinking, why should I invest the time and money into it? Well, I'll run you through the major benefits that you can have or you can offer a customer by including compression gear into your next collection. And number one is actually quite simple. Good compression gear can actually provide support to the wearer during a workout. Tightly fitted fabrics and clothing can provide support to the different muscular parts of your body when in the middle of a workout. So when you're pushing, that pressure that's building up on your muscles can actually help you exert your efforts in the right way. So by virtue of using compression gear, you're just going to provide your muscles with more support and more stability during the workout. Number two is that good compression gear actually offers breathability. We've also mentioned that compression fabrics are usually quite elastic in their nature, but they help retain that tension on the wear. 
At the same time, good compression fabrics are also used when they're very breathable. So we tend to use compression fabrics that offer a certain amount of breathability. And what those breathable fabrics are gonna do is they're going to promote the air circulation around the wearer that's ultimately going to help the wearer feel ventilated, keep them cool, and keep them relaxed during a workout so that they're not feeling hot and flustered and ultimately feel uncomfortable and reduce the impact or the benefits of that workout, the psychological benefits. We know that the stress and the actual impact of a workout is not both physical, but it can also be mental. Number three, good compression gear can also, as I touched on briefly in the intro, can help reduce muscle soreness and improve your recovery time. So, like I mentioned, compression gear promotes the blood and lymph flows to our bodies. And by having blood in our muscles or extra blood in our muscles, what that's going to help do is we're gonna provide more oxygen that's gonna help prevent the buildup of uh, lactic acid in our muscles, which creates that feeling of soreness and pain in our muscles during a workout. And at the same time, it's going to help provide more nutrients at a faster pace to our muscles, which during the workout process where we're tearing down our muscles, it helps the buildup of our muscles as they rebuild in the post-workout process. So definitely compression gear is going to help you with shortened recovery time so you can get into the gym, perform faster, perform for longer, and actually get back to the gym sooner than you would have if you weren't using compression gear. So it does have that benefit attached to it. Number four, compression gear can actually help improve the flexibility of a wear during a workout. And we know that's very important, especially during a workout where range of motion and freedom of movement is really, really important. So because we're using quite stretchy fabrics in compression gear, those stretchy fabrics that are laying low against the skin and creating less of a surface area than if you're wearing a hoodie or a pair of joggers can actually both be beneficial from a flexibility standpoint and a safety standpoint. So if you envision a pair of joggers and hoodie which you actually have more fabric flailing around, there's just more opportunity and more surface area of fabric to get caught on certain machines, get snagged on certain things, and ultimately just add that little bit of extra friction to the wearer. So good compression gear is gonna help you with your flexibility, and it may also have a bit of a safety feature baked into it just by virtue of how seamless and sort of how frictionless the experience is of wearing compression. It's sort of like a second skin. Number five, Compression gear can actually end up providing comfort to the wearer. So psychologically, we understand that a good workout also has to do with how you feel about your workout. And funny enough, compression gear can actually provide the sensation or like a positive sensation of pressure on your skin, which in many cases has actually been attributed to a positive experience in most wearers. So that feeling of compression that you get from your shorts or from your t-shirt can actually help translate into a better workout where you just feel more relaxed and more motivated to work out. So you are getting a sense of comfort from that pressure against your skin. Obviously, if the garment is not overly fitted, it, you need to make sure that you're using the right size of compression that's correct for you. But funny enough, compression can give you that added sense of comfort. At the same time, the lack of extra fabric around your skin can help prevent chafing from usually garments that are ill-fitted. So compression garments don't really have that because everything kind of fits snugly. And if you're using the right materials with the right sort of quality, you're going to get a fabric that feels very, very good and soft and actually very comfortable against the skin. So you're gonna get rid of any fabric riding up which can essentially cause chafing and just a discomfort to the wearer over the duration of your workout where having that flexibility and having that motion and making sure that your garments are not chafing up against your skin is going to be key towards just giving you a better experience, preventing those rashes and just making a much more comforted experience during your workout. Number six, compression gear can actually help a wearer stay drier for longer during a workout. And anyone who's done a high intensity workout in a cotton t-shirt will attest to the fact that having a drenched t-shirt at the end of a great workout is not a good way to end your workout. So by virtue of the types of fabrics that are used in compression gear, predominantly we, we tend to use polyester and nylon fibers, both fibers of which have sweat wicking properties. It's going to help the wearer stay drier for longer by promoting the movement of sweat away from the surface of the skin 
to the surface of the fabric and helping it evaporate, not only are you going to stay cool, but you're gonna get rid of that discomfort that's caused by pools of sweat building up on the surface of the fabric. Number seven is actually an interesting one, and it has to do with the way that we perceive our workout. Anyone who's been into training knows the idea of the rate of perceived exertion, which in short means that when we're working out, we both have the physical impact of working out and at the same time, the mental impact of working out. So when you're pushing a weight, it's not only the physical impact that it has on you, but the way that you're perceiving the amount of effort you're putting into pushing. Funny enough, studies have shown that compression gear actually helps to reduce that rate of perceived exertion. So you actually tend to do more with less of a rate of perceived exertion, which can help you push harder for longer. So you're getting that mental boost of thinking that you're able to do more with less effort and able to push yourself beyond those limits. So that's also a great benefit of having a good compression set. Last but not least, we've already described the functional impacts of compression gear. But as we all know, good sportswear can have the ability to make us feel better about ourselves and perform ultimately better during a workout. And compression gear is no different. Compression gear has the ability to make us feel good about our physiques in the sense that it actually helps to outline the muscles for people that have good physiques and have built them up. It's a way for them to track their progress, for them to be able to see how their muscles are working and to give them that psychological boost during the gym and give them that positive feedback loop in terms of how their workouts are helping them progress in a physical sense. We all know that it can get very discouraging when working out to not see any progress over time and compression gear actually with its minimally invasive look on the wear can help us keep track of our improvements and the physical improvements that we're making to our bodies better over time which can help us to stay on track and to stay focused in our workouts. In men, the added striations that one can see from compression gear can definitely be positive in reinforcing the fact that the efforts that you're doing are paying off. And in women, compression gear such as leggings can help promote female assets and can help promote female curves. They can also provide a positive feedback loop to the wearer and just make workouts and the overall experience that much more enjoyable. So to wrap up, compression gear is a subset of sportswear that's definitely been gaining rapid momentum over the last couple of years. And it's not something that is a relatively new idea, but it may be something that has flown under your radar until now. If there are any other benefits that you think I've missed of good compression gear, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We put out content on both design, manufacturing, and just sportswear in general and you guys definitely would not want to miss it out. If you guys want to see more of our content, check out our Instagram at, at FitDesign. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to FitDesign TV. Until next time, stay awesome.